this new schist, which we're looking at, the gray rocks behind me here, are the, uh, the basement rocks. Canyon is a breathtaking wonder to many Americans, a gift that keeps on giving. However, it has been revealed that under the veils of the picturesque landscape of the Grand Canyon lies bewildering secrets that are way beyond human comprehension, challenging everything we have always known about our planet. What are these secrets, and what significance do they hold? Join us as we go deep into the caverns of the Grand Canyon, revealing creepy and terrifying discoveries that will leave you speechless. Grand Canyon is a land of mystery and wonder located in the high plateau region of northwestern Arizona with an average depth of 4,000 feet, reaching 6,000 feet at its lowest point. This canyon holds secrets of the Earth's ancient past within its layered walls. It is a natural wonder renowned for its striking beauty and beautiful colors. You cannot see it and not be awestruck. But what lies beyond the surface? What hidden treasures and mysteries does the Grand Canyon hold? The Grand Canyon offers more beyond its breathtaking views and geological wonders. It is a sanctuary for life, a haven for countless plant and animal species, and a living laboratory, a place of ecological importance and scientific inquiry. With these properties, you can attest to why researchers visit it to unravel its mysteries and unlock its secrets. Let's briefly dive into some of the unique features of this picturesque structure. Deep within the Grand Canyon lies a mystical secret, a hidden treasure that unveils the enigmatic tale of our planet's ancient past. The rock layers that grace the walls of this majestic wonder tell a captivating story of 1.5 billion years of Earth's history. At the depths of the canyon lies the Elves Chasm Gneiss, an ancient rock that dates back 1.84 billion years. This rock gives us insight into the secrets from an era long forgotten, inviting us to explore the depths of our planet. As we climb up the magnificent walls of the canyon, we are presented with a mesmerizing arrangement of rock layers, giving us insight into the Paleozoic era. Let us journey through these layers one by one as they reveal their tales. At the summit is the Kaibab Limestone, a majestic rock band that marks this geological epic's pinnacle. Descending further, we encounter the Toraweep limestone, and then the Coconino sandstone follows, giving us a glimpse into ancient deserts and wind-sculpted landscapes. Going deeper is the Hermit Shale. The Supai group, with its colorful hues, paints a vivid picture of ancient landscapes and meandering rivers and the towering Red Wall limestone, a fortress of stone that reveals the remnants of long-extinct marine life. Going lower, we find the Muav limestone, the bright angel shale with hidden treasures that conceal the mysteries of ancient ecosystems, and the Tapit sandstone, which unveils prehistoric oceans and long-lost shores. At the base is the Vishnu Basement Rocks, the foundation upon which this extraordinary Grand Canyon is built, a structure that has witnessed the rise and fall of ancient civilizations, the birth and extinction of countless species, and the relentless march of geological change. It is a place of wonder, a sanctuary of knowledge, and an open book that invites us to read the captivating mysteries of our planet's past Earth's history. Of what significance is this rock in the understanding of human history? Deep within the mystical depths of the Grand Canyon lies a treasure trove of ancient secrets waiting to be unveiled by the curious minds of scientists. These explorers critically look into the rock layers, unraveling the tale of Earth's history with tools in hand and a thirst for knowledge. First, they use a diagram called a stratigraphic column to look at rock layers. It shows the rock layers, with the oldest on the bottom and the youngest on the top. By studying the different rock layers, scientists can decipher the age of the rocks and the sequence of events that led to their formation. Then comes the fossils, ancient remnants of animals and plants that dwelled within the rock layers of the Grand Canyon. Through these fossils, scientists can piece together the puzzle of life's evolution, tracing the footsteps of species as they transformed through the ages. Also, the rock layers created years ago have been shaped by geological events such as deposition, uplift, and erosion. By studying them, scientists can learn about the geological processes that have shaped the Earth's surface over millions of years, including the movement of tectonic plates. Each layer of rock in the Grand Canyon tells a different story about the region's environmental history and the changing climate, 
sea level, and other environmental factors that have influenced the formation of the Grand Canyon over time. This research has paid off, as many interesting discoveries have been made. Prepare to be astonished by the recent astonishing discoveries made in the Grand Canyon. But before then, let's examine a jaw-dropping phenomenon. Unconformities are a common phenomenon in the Grand Canyon supergroup and the Paleozoic strata of the Grand Canyon. Imagine you're a geologist exploring the mysterious depths of Earth's history. Then you come across a geological phenomenon called the Great Unconformity that leaves you astounded and captivated. The Great Unconformity marks a surface where no rocks from a specific era are preserved. This perplexing phenomenon has appeared in various rock sections for over 100 million. Here's where it gets intriguing. The Great Unconformity holds geology's deepest secrets, yet it remains mysterious. Even the brightest minds in the field have yet to uncover its true nature. Geoscientists tirelessly sought answers that haven't gotten any. Theories have been proposed to unravel this enigma. One suggests a colossal glaciation event that happened around 720 million years ago in the Neoproterozoic era. This icy cataclysm may have erased the rocks that should have been preserved. Another theory points to Snowball Earth's glaciations as the cause of the Great Unconformity. Now let's pause to appreciate the significance of the Great Unconformity. First and foremost, it represents an unfathomable gap in the rock record, which is like a puzzle piece missing from the grand geological picture. Furthermore, it offers a unique opportunity for geologists to peer into Earth's past to uncover the secrets buried within the missing pages of history. It challenges our understanding of the processes that have shaped our planet's surface throughout the ages. Who will unveil the secrets of this enigma? The answer lies within the rocks, waiting to be discovered by the curious. The moment we've been waiting for has finally come. In the Mogollon Rim region in Arizona, there were whispers of an enigmatic creature, talking about the legendary Mogollon monster. Let us delve into the accounts and descriptions of this extraordinary being. What astonishing discoveries have been made in the Grand Canyon. In 1908, as the Grand Canyon was on the brink of being protected from exploitation, an explorer named G.E. Kincaid set out on a daring adventure. He sailed down the Colorado River, deep into the heart of the canyon, eager to uncover its hidden wonders before they were forever off limits. Little did he know that this was just the beginning, a doorway to a world of mystery and adventure that stretched far beyond the walls of that captivating cavern. Kincaid stumbled upon something extraordinary about 40 miles upstream from El Tovar Crystal Canyon. He noticed strange stains on the sediment formations and followed them, climbing up carved steps that led to a high shelf. There, he discovered an entrance to a man-made cavern. Inside, Kincaid's flashlight revealed an astonishing sight, walls covered in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. It was a mind-boggling revelation. He found hundreds of Egyptian artifacts dating back to the time of King Ramses, around 1250 BC. Historians believe the first settlers in the Grand Canyon were the ancient Puebloans. Still, these hieroglyphics suggested that Egyptians were there long before. How did the Egyptians reach North America so long ago? This discovery challenged what we knew about ancient civilizations. This enigmatic discovery raised skepticism amongst many people who doubted the discovery. Questions from every nook and cranny began to arise in no time, wanting to know if it was real. But was this discovery truly a hoax? We'll find out soon. In 2020, paleontologists stumbled upon a jaw-dropping set of fossil tracks hidden within the Grand Canyon's ancient layers. Their age makes these tracks extraordinary. They are the oldest recorded tracks within the entire expanse of the Grand Canyon National Park. These tracks are footprints of egg-laying vertebrates that had roamed the Grand Canyon. In 2021, another astonishing discovery was made by an international team of paleontologists. What they discovered were several exceptionally well-preserved trackways of primitive four-footed animals that inhabited an ancient desert environment. Most astonishing is that this discovery dates back to 280 million years ago, the beginning of the Permian period, before the appearance of the earliest dinosaurs. A Norwegian geology professor, Alan Krill, made another shocking discovery on his annual field trips to the Grand Canyon with his students. He noticed fossilized footprints at the base of the canyon, 
along the Bright Angel Trail. This footprint was nothing close to what he had seen before. Curious about the creature's identity with that print, he sent pictures to another geologist, Steve Rowland. The result of the findings was astounding. It was discovered that the prints were that of the oldest known amniotes living in dunes. For clarity, amniotes are animals whose eggs, like birds and reptiles, can survive outside of water. Remember, these amniotes dwell in dunes, but why were their tracks found in a coastal dune? This is a revelation that ancient reptiles dwelled on land soon after their evolution. It appears the Grand Canyon was tired of keeping the secrets that hide within it, because soon after, an Icneotherium, a type of footprint believed to have been made by an extinct group of tetrapods known as Diadectomorpha, was found. This was strange, because this was the first time a tetrapod that does not lay eggs with shells would be found in a desert environment. This discovery alone has challenged everything we know about ancient desert's inhabitants. Get ready for a freezing discovery that will make you question the very evolution of humans. Encounters with the Mogollon monster have woven a captivating tapestry of legend around this mysterious creature. Firstly, the first-hand accounts of those who claim to have glimpsed the creature add an air of authenticity to its legend. People from various walks of life have come forward with vivid descriptions of encountering the beast. Their testimonies have painted a collective portrait of its appearance and behavior. Such accounts have formed the foundation upon which the creature's legend is built, stirring both awe and fear in those who hear them. News outlets have reported on sightings, stirring curiosity and fascination among the masses. Books and documentaries have delved into the creature's existence, unveiling its secrets to a wider audience. The Mogollon monster has also found a place in popular culture, further cementing its status as a mystical entity. It has made appearances in movies, TV shows, and video games, capturing the imagination of countless individuals. The first documented sighting of this cryptid dates back to 1903, when a brave man named I.W. Stevens stumbled upon a peculiar sight. He reported sighting a wild man lurking amidst the woods near the fabled Mogollon Rim. This encounter ignited a spark of curiosity. After that, Arizona pioneer Sam Spade, who built a log cabin adjacent to Camp Geronimo, narrated a terrific tale of his encounter with a monster. According to him, not only did this monster attack him, but in a twinkling of eyes, it turned a joyous day into a very sad one when it claimed the lives of his son and wife on his wedding day. In more recent times, a multitude of brave souls have come forward with their chilling encounters. Hikers, campers, and nature enthusiasts have shared tales of encountering this elusive creature. According to witnesses, the Mogollon monster is said to be covered with fur as pure as snow and a face akin to our own, a haunting reminder of our shared humanity. Some accounts speak of falling white tresses adorning its head. Others insist it wears a cloak of darkness in black or brown. Imagine a creature blending seamlessly with the shadows, towering up to seven feet with red eyes and a body cloaked in long ebony or reddish-brown hair that conceals its true nature, leaving only the chest, face, hands, and feet exposed. There is also talk of its powerful and pungent odor described as that of dead fish, a skunk with bad body odor, decaying peat moss, and the musk of a snapping turtle. What lies beneath this furry exterior? What secrets does this elusive monster hold? What is more alarming is that it is very aggressive as people narrate events of it trying to unleash an attack on them or even make scary, strange sounds. What are these creatures? How did they evolve? You may wonder how a monster discovered in the Far Mogollon Rim relates to the Grand Canyon. We're coming to that. You remember the strange cave found in the Grand Canyon, yeah? There are tales that many years ago, hostile Indians took three men, tied them to logs in a canyon, and let them float away. Has it occurred to you that perhaps those captured men were some of the Egyptians that inhabited those tunnels archaeologist Kincaid talked about? The Mogollon Rim was where the river waves sent the log of wood which carried them to. The wild creature we see is possibly one of those men who escaped and survived. However, the terrible experience, coupled with living in the wild for years, drove him insane and transformed him into the monster that haunts the Mogollon Rim, which we perceive as this monster today. Remember, some people describe the monster's voice as a blend of a woman's and a man's. 
To add to the sea of findings is the jaw-dropping discovery of uranium. This discovery provides insights into the geology and environmental history of the region. It is a naturally occurring element found in breccia pipes and associated with other trace elements. Its presence in groundwater can also be used as a tracer for groundwater flow and recharge processes. But there's a dark side to this discovery. The historical impact of uranium mining on the Grand Canyon and its surrounding communities has highly negative consequences. From 1956 to 2009, mining companies extracted 23.3 million pounds of uranium from this canyon. The aftermath of uranium mining left behind polluted water and poisoned landscapes, which could cause severe damage to health by causing deadly diseases like lung cancer, bone cancer, kidney damage, and even increased risks of birth defects. Uranium mining has had cultural impacts on the region, particularly Native American communities. Many Native American communities in the region rely on the land for their livelihoods and cultural practices, and uranium mining can disrupt these practices. Uranium mining can also contaminate soil with radioactive waste, which can persist in the environment for thousands of years. On the good side, Uranium mining provided economic benefits to the region, including jobs and revenue. However, the economic benefits were short-lived, and many mining operations closed when the uranium market declined. In 2012, the Obama administration imposed a 20-year ban on new uranium mining claims on 1 million acres of public land surrounding the Grand Canyon. However, the ban was lifted in 2020 by the Trump administration. What role has the Grand Canyon played in the history of Americans? With meticulous precision, President Kennedy scoured the vast expanse of the Grand Canyon, searching for a spot that would defy the destructive forces of war. And there, nestled within depths, he found it, a hidden nook, 220 feet below the surface, that promised unparalleled safety. He envisioned this subterranean haven as a fortress against the terrifying specter of the Cuban Missile Crisis. In those tumultuous days of 1962, when the world teetered on the brink of catastrophe, President Kennedy foresaw the need for shelter, a refuge where he and his fellow countrymen could endure the aftermath of a devastating strike. With determination, President Kennedy transformed this hidden cavern into a stronghold. Food, water, and provisions were gathered, ensuring the subterranean sanctuary could sustain its inhabitants for extended periods but not merely the safety afforded by its seclusion drew President Kennedy to the Grand Canyon. The strategic location played a crucial role in his decision. Situated in the southwestern United States, this natural wonder held a unique advantage. This vantage point guarded against potential threats that could come from various directions. The Grand Canyon Caverns Motel now manages the cavern. Though it never served its intended purpose, the cavern has become a tourist destination. You might want to check it out. Do you also think these discoveries are hoaxes, as asserted by many? Let us know your experiences and thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling adventure.